This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that Yes, My Dear is among the best sitcoms ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Linda Bellingham played the character Carol in the sitcom when she was 28 in 1976. Sadly, on October 19, 2014, she left us due to colorectal cancer at 66 in Westminster, London, England. We're deeply saddened by passing. Mustn't you? <laughs> oh no. I admire your new honesty and integrity and... <laughs> I think I'm falling in love with you. It's funny, but I couldn't think of a title to sell it to... The network, do you know what I mean? I couldn't yeah. do anything funny at the time. And then I thought, when, when I was uh, dying... Johnny Briggs played the character Bill in the sitcom when he was 41 in 1976, sadly on February 28, 2021. He left us due to a long illness at 85 in Portishead, Somerset, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. No, 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 you're perfectly all right. It's me that's got the complications. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry you're not feeling well, Doctor. Um, uh, in, in the middle of the lawn there. <coughs> John Lyons played the character Milkman in the sitcom when he was 33 years old in 1976. See, at the age of 80, he is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Whitechapel, London, England. How about woodwork? I know a bit about that. <laughs> with, with breasts and mini skirts and what have you, you wouldn't be able to get away with that now. Mm -hmm. So yes, it, um, I think it has. But then, there's not too... John Quayle played the character Coria in a sitcom when she was 38 in 1976. See, at the age of 85, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Lincoln, UK. Not too bad, yeah? Uh, no, I'm Monsieur Perron. Uh, Mr. Perron. <laughs> Hell! I'm sorry. Oh, well, no, no, it's not your fault. I, I've been no. given the wrong file. Where the hell did you answer me in French? I thought it was some... No, at your age. <laughs> Darn sight more than you did. I'd rather doubt that. I'd rather you go home. And it's not your opinion that matters. Well, guess what? It's not yours. Please! Arthur Mullard played the character Wally Briggs in the sitcom when he was 66 in 1976. Sadly, on December 11, 1995, he left us of natural causes at 85 in Islington, London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. He drinks like a fish and spends all the nights getting men at it. <laughs> <laughs> well, she works all down that club. It's not easy to get men at it. Of course, I've been bleeding dubbed again. For 40 years, I've been laying... Mike Raid played the character Benny Briggs in the sitcom when he was 36 in 1976. Sadly, on July 29, 2007, he left us due to heart attack at 67 in Marbella, Spain, where deeply saddened by his passing. What's my portable telly doing down here? That belongs in my bedroom. Yeah, but you see, look, with two sets, I can watch both meetings at once. Bloody souls! <laughs> Anything that I've achieved in my life today as regards in show business, all started off with the comedians, and it was all down to this man. Joan Sanderson played the character Mrs. Hardington in the sitcom when she was 64 in 1976. Sadly, on May 24, 1992, she left her some natural causes at 79 in Norwich, England. We're deeply saddened by passing. <laughs> I thought you were going to get us out of that. Well, how could I? I mean, we need them. After all, they're the sort of people who've got the money these days. <laughs> Even when Claire was feeling down, she just used to go off and get into a hot bath and get it out of her system. Yes. She inherited... Harry Littlewood played the character clerk in the sitcom when he was 55 in 1976. Sadly, on December 26, 2003, he left us due to illness at 82 in Chelsea, London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. If I go and have one more go at the fruit machine... <laughs> Your bill, sir. <sighs> Not his bill, his. Oh, yes, I beg your pardon. 
Queenie Watts played the character Lily Briggs in a sitcom when she was 53 in 1976. Sadly, on January 25th, 1980, she left us due to cancer at 56 in Islington, London, England. We're deeply saddened by passing. <laughs> Do you think you could stir my tea, love? Yes, my dear. <laughs> Norman Chappell played the character Jeffrey Lewis in the sitcom when he was 51 in 1976. Sadly, on July 21st, 1983, he left us due to illness at 57 in England. We're deeply saddened by his passing in Whitechapel, London, England. Could be Ming or even Tang. <laughs> well, there's an easy way to tell. If it was Ming, it would go Ming. If it was Tang, it would go... Pat Ashton played the character Phyllis in a sitcom when she was 45 in 1976. Sadly, on June 23rd, 2013, she left us of natural causes at 82 in this Norfolk, England. We're deeply saddened by passing. Cool! <laughs> Beer down and tell Benny to give me my drink. I'd like a nice double. Roger Avon played the character police surgeon in the sitcom when he was 62 in 1976. Sadly, on December 21st, 1998, he left us due to heart attack at 84 in London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. After the walk, the winner, Mr. Mike Abbott, said, For us youngsters, it was a piece of cake that my poor broken down old dad is pa- Terry Duggan played the character George in the sitcom when he was 44 in 1976. Sadly, on May 1, 2008, he left us due to a long illness at 76 in London, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. It is Western imperialists who are aggressors. China is still a free democracy. No, who's talking rubbish? You are. If you don't like it over... Okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in Yes, My Dear? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the notification bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.